Hello and greetings. I am Suleiman Ahmadzai, here with a new topic for you, my friends. The topic of our session today is how to create bullets in Microsoft Word. Let's see together how we can create bullets or bullet points. Keep in mind we have several different styles or designs of bullet points that we can use together. You and I can do the first one like this. You enter the asterisk symbol, asterisk, and then press the tab key. It will turn into a bullet point. Now whatever you type will work as a bulleted list. For example, A, B, C, D, E will appear as bullet points. If we want a different design, we can use that as well. For example, we have another style here. Try to focus here. What are we doing? We enter the greater than math symbol and press the tab key. It immediately turns into a bullet point. Again, we enter our text, A, B, C, D, E. We see that this is another style. Here we have numbering or bullet points. If we want, for example, we can have another design. This is a different design. We enter the less than and greater than math symbols. Then you click the tab key. Another style is created, A, B, C, D, E. We can also use this style with curved bullet points. We can use its other designs as well. For example, if we have arrow keys and a line, we press the less than math symbol along with two minus signs. Then we click the tab key, A, B, C, D, E. We can also use this design, right? We can use it. We can use its other style as well. Press two minus signs along with the capital math symbol. Then enter your text, A, B, C, D, E. If we need its other style as well, we can. For example, we need a little arrow keys and double tier. Enter the small math symbol with two equal signs. Click to open the tab, A, B, C, D, E. If we need its other design as well, we can. For example, we come here and want to try to first enter the double equal sign here. Then you enter the large math symbol. The right arrow will easily drop down to become double tier. Again, click on the tab key, A, B, C, D, E. We were also able to design it. If we want a double-sided arrow or a two-headed arrow, again, use the small math symbol, the equal sign, and the large math symbol. We use the less than sign and the greater than sign at the same time. Then click on the tab key, A, B, C, D, E. Now try to see we were able to create various notations like this. We made a double-sided arrow, we made a right arrow, and we also made a left arrow. The right arrow was a bit thinner, and the left arrow was also a bit thinner. We worked on designing these bullet designs as well. We also worked on them in the form of arcs, and in the end, we were able to use these bullets as well. So in this way, we can create bullets and notations, and I look forward to seeing you in the next sessions. Goodbye.